Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I got a call from my doctor's office today. So many of you may know that um, a few weeks ago I went in for a CT scan and there's something on my chart that says that they've seen a buildup of something on near my spine. And I was supposed to talk to the doctor, but I was on the middle of the ocean on a cruise. Had I been in a port, I would have been able to talk to her, but I was in the ocean between ports on the day she wanted to call. I rearranged the schedule and she's supposed to call me on the 7th where I'm still on a cruise ship, but I'm in a port, she can call me. But I got a call this morning saying that she's going to call me tomorrow. The thing is, calling me tomorrow is really inconvenient because I'm boarding a cruise ship tomorrow. And it's, you know, it's right when she's going to call. It's right at the time I'm supposed to be boarding and going through security and everything. And they won't let me have a phone. So I'm going to have to figure it all that out. I couldn't change the time it was set. But they're calling early. Uh, they're calling a few days early. They didn't say why or anything like that. I, I don't think it's a big deal, but in your heart of hearts, in your mind of mind, you automatically go to, oh man, they have to talk to me sooner because yeah, maybe something's more severe than I thought. Now they're calling me on Friday. My regular call was going to be on Monday. So it's the weekend where they don't call anybody on the weekend. So it's really only one day earlier. I, I, you know, had it been urgent and vital, I think they would have reached out to me last week or the week before. Uh, I don't, you know, but in your mind, in your mind, are you guys like this? Are you immediately go to, oh my God, what if, what if, what if? And, you know, I've lived through all this stuff before. I've had six surgeries. I've had a year and a half of chemotherapy. I've had weeks of radiation. I've been through all this stuff before. I've had hundreds of CT scans, it seems. And so I should be used to this by now. And I'm actually a very calm person. You can see I'm not hyper. I'm not pacing back and forth in my room. And oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm here, okay. I'm going to talk to her tomorrow and I'm going to find out what's going on. Now, this video that you're seeing now is tomorrow. <laughs> I'm filming this one day ahead because I'm boarding a cruise ship tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, a little nervous, but not overly. It did concern me when they found something, you know, close to my spine. Close to your spine is never good, right? That's not a good thing. Uh, but I, it, it doesn't seem like there's anything on my lungs. It doesn't seem like there's anything in my colon. And those are the main parts that I've had problems with before. So I don't know what this whole thing is. I don't even, it, it didn't even dawn on me where that might be or in the description of it. So I'm kind of looking forward to talking to my doctor tomorrow and finding out exactly what the details are. But I, I thought I'd come on and I'd just mention that to everybody and uh, keep some good thoughts, everybody. You know, I know there's gonna be the odd hater out there <laughs> that I have that's gonna, ah, I will be against cancer again. Uh, Cause there are some more people in this world. Um, but I've been thinking and I was like, I, I wonder how many people kind of do that, kind of automatically go to the worst case scenario in your head, right? Um, you get a phone call and it says, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it there. Uh, something happened. And immediately something happened is the worst thing you can think of, right? And it turns out, yeah, you know, one of the kids came down with a flu and we can't go out. <laughs> you know, and it, it can turn 99 times out of 100 turns into something much less than what you're expecting. But there are those times when it turns worse. And that's why we tend to jump to those conclusions. And you know, it's natural to fear things that you really can't control. You know, as much as I like to say I've controlled this, 
this cancer. I haven't. My doctors have controlled this cancer. I put up the fight. I, with, you know, with my, if you notice, I'm a very upbeat person and I do not give up on stuff. I do not surrender, <laughs> shall we say. Uh, through the entire cancer treatment and sicknesses and everything like that, I had stacks of pills in bags like this. Never took one. Because my motto was, if it's not painful and it's not overly affecting me, let my body heal. Let my body do the work. And let's not rely on medication to do it. And it worked. Like, I rarely got sick. Uh, like, a sick to my stomach or anything like that. I had had some runs of stuff, but the medication that I was taking would never have helped. It's different types of medication. And the doctor said, you know, the less you need, the better. But here's all this medication in case you need it. And I'm very proud of myself that I did not need it. And uh, I'm just stubborn now. <laughs> I will admit, I'm a very stubborn person. I don't like taking medication. If I don't have to, I will not. But uh, I do take it if the doctor says, yeah, you got to take this. Then I will. But if they say, you know, only if you need it. Or this may help you in this case then I'm not going to take it as much as possible. And I think there's a lot of people out there that kind of feel the same way. And I know uh, I know a lot of members in my family feel that way. And uh, I guess that's just the way my parents raised us, you know. And it, it goes back to a, an old mentality of uh, looking after yourself is, uh, is the way I was brought up. And uh, I'm glad to say so far it's worked. And I would love... Love it to work out this time. And I guess, you know what? If I'm coming on and I'm doing a video about jumping to the worst case scenario and jumping to conclusions and maybe I'm a little more nervous than I like to say I am. Otherwise, why am I even doing this video? <laughs>